great occasion for Southport, the first visit by a reigning monarch for 42 years, a welcome with flags and bunting from Crossens, where the royal couple enter the borough, to the town centre. Feverish preparations are made for that sunny day. Along Lord Street comes the royal car at last, watched by a large part of Southport's population. school children in the band enclosure see Her Majesty and the Duke arrive. Lord Derby presents the Mayor and Mayoress, Alderman Mrs Smith and Miss Jean Smith. The Mayor presents the Town Clerk, Mr Edgar Perrins and the Chief Constable. After joining 700 invited guests in the Cambridge Hall, the royal couple emerge on the balcony to the delight of the children. On a fashion note, the Queen wears a princess-style deep blue velvet coat with the neckline trimmed with white airmen and matching blue velvet hat. The Queen and the Duke sign photographs. And also sign the Town Hall Visitors Book, Permanent Mementos of the Occasion. Crowds in Chapel Street await the Queen.
Inside the station, a 420-foot carpet, which had already been used for the royal visit to Morecambe and sent to Southport by road, is laid down. 300 wives and children of railway employees await the Queen's arrival. An outstanding display of flowers from Hesketh Park. The station master, Mr. Craven, is presented to the Queen and escorts her down Platform 5 where the Royal Train is waiting. The Queen shakes hands with the Mayor Mayoress, town clerk and chief constable before boarding the train. One of our camera crew dashes to Foul Lane Crossing at Kew to get this shot of the highly polished Royal Train thundering past. Back at the station, Southport returns to normal after a short but memorable Royal visit. Preparations for another royal visit. Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret in Southport for a ceremony at Hague Avenue football ground. The Mayor and Mayoress, Alderman and Mrs Townend arrive. The Princess Commandant-in-Chief of the Ambulance and Nursing Cadets of the St. John Ambulance Brigade. She inspects more than 4,000 boy and girl cadets drawn from the Northern Counties. A brief visit to Southport for this event and also to conduct an enrolment ceremony in the Cambridge Hall. So often, St John Ambulance Brigade members are on hand at public events to provide vital first aid facilities. Here, they proudly enjoy the limelight themselves. A day to remember for all those taking part, especially so with the presence of their royal visitor. <laughs>